So, um, it's obviously the first game that we've had to be able to look at our uh, playing style. This week we've looked at how we play out, in particular how we change the point to try and get who out. We want to try and overload them by getting what? A centre back or a full back driving in, okay? So, when we're starting to play out, whether it's in transition through a goalkeeper, um, okay, or whether it's a goal kick directly, get the picture set up first and foremost. What have I asked the two and the five to do as much as possible? Yeah, stay high and wide, okay? And then the six, eight, and 10, your starting position can actually be a lot higher than what we have done in the past, okay? Right, yes, I'm missing a marker, that's okay. Now, with the, um, with the fact that when we play out, when they look to press the first pass, what are most teams looking to actually try to do? Lock us, lock us into one side. So that's why we're looking at how we can try and change the point as quickly as possible. So once we initially play to one side, now let's see if we can get the ball back through to the other side. Is it a case that the ball goes into the two and the five, okay? Then we get a midfielder in a position where we can change the point back through into the other side? Or is it a case that the three and the four give us what? It starts with D and we've spoken about it. Depth, exactly right. So as soon as that ball goes in, we give them depth, so now we can change it back out, okay? So the biggest challenge for you today is that when we're playing out, how can we get it through the opposite side if the opposition team narrows across? Are there gonna be opportunities for us to play through their press if they, if they try and lock us in quite poorly? Yes, exactly right. It might be the ball into the six, okay, and then the six into the seven and then into the two. It might be a ball directly into a 10, okay? It might be the ball into the two and then into the 10. There's going to be times, like I've spoken to Yaz and I've spoken to Alyssa about, where you choose to play through their pressure on the one side, and that's great. But as a task, as a topic, if they lock us in one side, can we get somebody outside of the press to change it out? Who are typically the players in those sort of positions that can get outside the press? Yeah, the centre back on that side, okay, and the centre back on the other side, or the six in the furthest midfielder. Well done, okay? We also spoke about once we actually get out the other side and we have time on the ball, now what we do, okay? So we look to drive, we look to commit, but what, I, what did I say on Friday that I wanted the midfield to do? Try and get on different lines, well done. So the six might come level, the 10, the closest 10 might try and get in the back shoulder, okay, so beyond. And then this player can look to try and get into that line. So we have different lines. So time on the ball, we can drive. Midfield, position yourself where you're on different lines. Maybe one beyond, one underneath, and one in between, okay? And then it's about how do we break it. On the pressing side of things, okay, if we're looking at us now being the Reds, Again, it's the first time that we've actually looked at how we work together as a group. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is the opposite, lock them in. So once that ball goes there, I want the nine to press on an angle, okay? And ensure that the ball doesn't get changed back out, okay? Midfield marking tightly, but ball side and goal side, okay? Then you can pick your moment to step in front. But the biggest thing is what I was speaking to Emmeline and Laney about when they were pressing against us in the playing out session, is I want you inside, but making sure that you're not beyond, okay? So that they can't play out straight beyond you. You're there, okay? Now, where does that really encourage her to play? To the fullback, and then now you're going. But not once she takes a touch, as soon as that ball goes, you go. We go, we go, we go, we go. Understand? So the furthest wing is coming across and taking care of the goalkeeper and the centre back. We're really committing to one side. Okay? Last little point is if they break that press, now it becomes what we, we were speaking about at training an unorganised press. So it might be now that player goes and that player needs to step on. Okay? So if at any point they break our press, think. Who's going? Are we staying? Are we going as a group? Are we going as individuals? What angle are we going on? That's for you to determine, okay? 
mentality side, look, you've uh, really had a great uh, week in terms of your leadership, your attitude, your, um, your, your defensive job, okay, and, and trying to play through the pressure, but it needs to translate to games now, okay? You need to press with intensity. You need to play with a quick tempo. You need to be aggressive. I don't want you focusing on the result. I want you focusing on the, the playing style, but you need to have the attitude of there's a reason for it. There's a purpose, okay? We play to try and win, understand, and try to develop and trying to improve. Don't just come out with the, I'm gonna play the right style. That should be one half of it. The other side of it should be, can we look to win? Can we look to press? Can we look to be competitive? Okay, you have to have half and half. Right, let's go.